Hello and welcome to the Cables Mass. This is my first video. Today I want to show you how to sequence accelerator hardware using the Novation Circuit. Okay, so the um, Novation Circuit allows to use external MIDI gear, but it doesn't allow for us to listen to what we're playing live. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up in Cubase um, MIDI routing so that you can uh, play live and at the same time sequence on the Novation circuit. Okay, so we need to first add two MIDI tracks. We need to map them uh, to one of the two synth channels of the circuit each. So I'll call synth1 and synth2. So it will be one on channel 1 and one on channel 2. The connection will be between the input, so in my case the Bitstep Pro, and the circuit as an output for both channels. So now, whatever we play from the circuit will go to the, uh, sorry, from the Bitstep Pro will go to the circuit and uh, be sequenced. Uh, at the same time, we want to add uh, to route the signal to the external sec um, gear. So in this case, I will add um, I will add a MIDI send, and I use a MIDI modifier. The MIDI modifier allows me to send it to my system one, for instance. In this case, on channel two, and I'll do the same for the other channel. On channel one of the system one. So what this is going to do is when we select one channel and we play it, the depending on the MIDI channel selected on the track, one of the other two external synths will play. So we can quickly demo this by enabling recording on the circuit. So I'll play chord and that will be recorded. and you see that it's been recorded, but it doesn't play. And this is the uh, other channel recorded on the other channel. So why doesn't it play? Because, of course, we didn't, uh, we are not doing anything with a MIDI coming from the circuit. So we need to add two more uh, MIDI tracks. And in this case, we need to map them to the um, so let's put them here. We need to um, send the signal coming from the uh, circuit also to the hardware. So I'll call it the tracks from circuit one and from circuit two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the signal from the circuit, send it to the system one, channel one, take the signal from the circuit, system 1, and channel 2. What we need to do here is also add a filter so that only the channel 1 is passed for the channel 1 and only the channel 2 is passed for the channel 2. This is important to avoid uh, weird um, stuff going into the external hardware. So, once this is done, we enable monitoring on those two tracks. And now suddenly, the horrible thing I recorded will be hearable from the sequence. In the next video, I'm going to explain how to use Bitstep Pro and Novation Circuit together. Until then, thanks for watching.